Talk to me about you know why it is that, uh, that you guys are so focused on this industrial uses right here. Yeah, absolutely, great question. You know, what we're, we're really focusing on is the future of work and, and what work is. And, and we think that augmented reality strength is the opportunity to empower workers uh, to make better decisions uh, in the context of what they're doing. I mean, today, most uh, management paradigms assume that management makes a decision and a worker either gets it right or wrong. But if you can use augmented reality to give them the best information, they don't, they don't want to make a mistake. Uh, they'll make the right decisions and, and augmented reality can help make that happen. And maybe there's more revenue when you're talking to businesses about fixing their business? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, the market opportunity for AR is, is huge. If, if you look at uh, kind of the idea of the Internet of Things and connecting machines and, and people and data together in the world, uh, the opportunity can, can really approach the trillions of dollars. And augmented reality is really the user interface, uh, bringing those things together and, and making them actionable. Josh, uh, when you look at uh, this startup and so many others in the Valley trying to, well, this startup based in L.A., but so many others in, uh, in the Valley and, and elsewhere trying to do that's Aaron Black, where our, our terrific tape editor at Bloomberg, wearing the helmet. Now, are you guys, we did plan to throw her out of the building after wearing this, yeah. right? Toss her out the second floor window. No, we're not going to do that, Aaron Black. Uh, but So what are we looking at there, Brian, when I look at this thing? Why, why does that helmet look like that? Yeah, the, the smart helmet has an array of sensors built into it uh, and a computing platform that uh, allows the uh, helmet to do computer vision. So uh, the computer understands what it sees, it understands how the helmet's moving, and then it can perform augmented reality um, in addition to bringing in the, the information that the sensors provide. Um, you know, for instance, one of the capabilities in the smart helmet is actually thermal vision. So you can see what temperature things are just, just by looking at them, uh, which becomes immensely valuable. Uh, both from a production standpoint, but also from a safety standpoint. If you approach something and it's too hot, the helmet can actually let you know that there's a, there's a danger there. Uh, and, and very interesting, because uh, it, it seems that, Josh, you know, one of the things we know yeah. about the way work happens now, that it's so different from you know, an industrial age where you had very few educated managers uh, managing uh, vast uh, numbers of people who didn't have an education and therefore the jobs were all the same and everything. This seems like it's focused on that old world uh, kind of job where the worker didn't have enough information at the, at the time of, uh, of the moment they're doing the job. Yeah, look, we, there are still you know, million, tens and hundreds of millions of people you know, doing these kind of you know, labor work every day. And yet, you know, we still have to look at the analog world in, in the old way. And we think that, you know, when you can kind of digitize that information of what you're seeing and give it to people in a much more digestible way, and in fact, you know, if something looks wrong on a chart, you know, give you a big red warning and it can be detected through the screen, we just think that this is going to revolutionize how people work. And we are excited about Daiquiri and many other companies that are really trying to be, be inventive here, both at the sensor level and at this augmented reality layer. What do you want to know to Brian right now, Josh? I, I imagine you've got a million questions for him as well. Yeah. Um, you know, Brian, I, I'd love to know, kind of, as you think about this just as an enterprise business, are there bigger plays in sort of how we can map information in the broader world, too? Or do you think this is really just going to be focused on making work better? Uh, it's a great question. I think that there's really a clear uh, extension of what we're doing in the industrial workplace today. It, it moves through other types of workplaces um, and then ultimately gets into our daily lives. I mean, because uh, I'm sure like me, um, you do what you do because you love it, you're passionate about it, you know, it's where you leave your mark in the world. I think work is that way for everyone and it, it, it kind of uh, bleeds over into the rest of your life. I think the technology does that as well. It starts at work like cell phones did 30 years ago and then eventually it's in everybody's pocket. And in this case, um, augmented reality will, will be on everybody's head. All right, certainly in our brains right now, thanks to you, Brian Mullins, Zachary, CEO Thank and founder. You. Thank you very much.